Yo, what is good YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do 3D music video text using After Effects and Element 3D. If you guys aren't subscribed already, make sure you guys subscribe. We have a lot of people that watch my videos and don't subscribe. It's just the ratio here, it's kind of crazy. But yeah guys, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. The project file will be linked in the description below. Go check out my editing packs as well. Super high quality assets you guys can add to spice up your videos. I highly recommend them. Anyways guys, let's hop right into this 3D music video text tutorial. All right guys, so we are in After Effects here. This is the project file for the original one here. So I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do this today. Super cool. We're gonna start off with this clip here. It's only a couple of seconds long. So the first effect that we wanna start off with doing is we're gonna duplicate this clip here using Control D on our keyboard. So we have two of them. We're gonna click on the first one there. We're gonna go up to the roto brush, click on the roto brush, then double click so we're in the layer. Make sure you guys go into the layer when you do your rotoscoping. If you guys do not know how to rotoscope, I will link a tutorial down below as well, teaching you guys how to rotoscope and how you can use it to level up your music videos. All right, now once you guys have him cut out, you kind of want to skim through the video just to make sure he's cut out for the whole thing. Yeah, it looks like he's cut out for the whole thing. So what you want to do next is you want to go back in the composition by clicking up there. And if I toggle this bottom layer on and off, you can see that he's cut out. So what you want to do, since the cut isn't kind of perfect, you can kind of see blue outlines here. What I like to do is just feather it a little bit. See that adds it a little bit more so it's not as rough. And then you do shift edge minus just to even it out. And then I think that's kind of a perfect cut there. So we're gonna turn that bottom layer back on. And now the next thing that you wanna do in the effect, you wanna go up to your text tool. You're gonna drag just like that. And then we're gonna type Sofago. Once your capital is not lowercase. Sofago, just like that. And then what you wanna do next is click back on this thing up here and you just wanna drag it to make it big so it's taller, kind of like that uh, v lone look. So just keep on dragging the top until you get it the way you like. You don't have to copy this exact text style. Please don't actually. Uh, try and make your text different using a different font, using a different whatever. Just try and take this effect and add your own sauce to it. Please don't copy it completely. Uh, so yeah, once you have that there, you wanna drag that behind your rotoscope layer so it's right behind them. I'll play that for you guys. So that's even usable there for a music video as well, just rotoscoping and putting that behind, but we're gonna spice it up a little bit more. So what you wanna do next to add Element 3D is you're gonna right click here, oh, go to new, solid, and you're gonna name this, it doesn't matter what color it is, it doesn't matter at all, just name the solid element, and you wanna go over to effects here, and you're gonna wanna drag and drop element onto that solid. And as soon as you do that, you click on the solid, you're gonna wanna go over to custom layers, this is super important. Custom text and masks, path layer one, all right? So you wanna click on your text there. So mine says Sofago, but yours is gonna be called whatever whatever it says. So I'm gonna click on that, uh, just like so, and you see that's there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna close this here, and then we're gonna hide this text layer here. So there's nothing behind them now. We're gonna drag element just below that first rotoscope layer, and then we're gonna open scene setup here. Now, if you guys haven't used Element before, once you open the scene setup, you get transported into the 3D world. You can just move around by dragging your mouse and zooming in and out on the mouse as well. So what you wanna do next is you wanna hit extrude at the top here. And then once you have that, your text is gonna pop in. So now uh, you guys can change the bevel at the back. So see how it's really thin? Going down here to bevel scale, it's at three right now. You guys can change that to whatever you want just by going up and down. You can make it nothing. You can make it fucking massive. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna. I think that looks good around there. And then if you guys want to add textures as well, I recommend not using just the, the white texture. It doesn't look good. Um, I have pro shaders, the ones that come with element. You'll have 22 textures here that you can drag and drop on just by drag and dropping. So the one I'm going to use is I'm going to go down to pro shaders 2. That will be linked in the description as well if you guys want to purchase it. I'm going to go down to stone and I'm going to drag and drop this one here, stone block wall. I like this one a lot. So drag and drop just like that and you're done. Once you have your texture drag and drop and your bevel scale fixed to your liking, you're gonna wanna hit okay in the top right. And there you go, it's in there just like that. Now this next step is super important. That's how we get the motion in this one. So as you can see here, I kinda have it roll in and then kinda roll out slowly while zooming in with the thunder as well. I'm gonna teach you guys how to add the thunder behind him and on top with the sound effects. So yeah, let's go back to this one here. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into element again, group one, particle look, go down to multi object and enable multi object. We're going to drag this out just so you guys can see the names of everything. Now the two important ones that we're going to be using today is particle size. So we're just going to make sure this is at the beginning here. We're going to keyframe particle size 
and then we're gonna keyframe rotation random multi. Now what this does here is, I'm sure you can see in the text here, whatever way I move this, it rotates the letters. What we wanna do is see we're at the very beginning of the frame here. I'm just gonna bring this down here. And then if you hit U on your keyboard, it actually shows you the, the only keyframes you're using instead of all of them open at once, which is annoying. So yeah, we're just gonna zoom in here just so that fits perfect. I guess that works there. So what you wanna do at the start, if you're copying uh, the way I have this kind of come in, I'm gonna start at zero and then I'm going to around here, I think, bring it up to about there, about nine, let's say 9.10, nine, whatever, same shit. All right, and then what you wanna do at the beginning or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the rotation random multi. Let's start it at two. And then once it comes in, let's bring it back to zero. So it goes back to normal. Let's see how that looks. So kind of cool, a little bit choppy, right? So to fix that choppiness there, we're gonna go to the very end of our clip here and we are going to increase the size a little bit more just so it fills the full frame. That's the kind of the look I like. And then this time we're gonna be bringing that backwards. So let's watch this here. Still a little bit choppy, but to fix that, we are going to highlight all of our keyframes. We're gonna right click on them. Oh, I hate when this happens. Right click on them. Where is the, ah. Okay, we're gonna highlight all of our keyframes. We're gonna right click on them. Go make sure you go to keyframe assistant and easy ease in. Do not do easy ease, do not do easy ease out. Those are used for different things, but do easy ease in, all right? So once you click that, you can see that this looks a lot smoother and it's less choppy. Awesome. And then what you wanna do next is you can close group one here, go to the very bottom, go to render settings, and then you guys can go on to shadows, enable shadows. Close that there. You're gonna to wanna to do motion blur on, and then we can turn this on here by doing toggle switches modes and turning motion blur on. And then I think I wanna turn this up. So motion blur samples, that shutter angle. All right, super cool, I like that a lot. Now to add the final touches here, we're gonna go into our project. These will be in the project file as well. I will have everything linked in the description. Everything I use in this, you can download on my website so you can try this effect yourself. Or if you just wanna open the project file and just kinda with your own hands, kinda see what I was doing here instead of watching the video. So you wanna go and drag, so these are Thunder assets. I'll link all of them with the project file like I said. We're gonna drag one in there and two, these are my favorite ones. And so the first one here, I believe, let's drag that just above element, what's that there? Okay, cool. So uh, what you wanna do is you wanna toggle switch the modes again. So you have the modes here. You're gonna wanna set them to screen. When you set them to screen, it's just gonna eliminate the, back, the uh, black background. Now, I don't really like how this is framed. So I'm gonna move it up and then make it a little bit bigger just like that. So let's see how that looks. Fuck with that, that's hard. And then we're gonna drag that above Sofago there. Just like that. And then the second one here, I'm just, this is kind of gonna show you like how much you can really do with these lightning things. Um, so we're gonna do screen once again, just like that. And then what I'm gonna do with this one here is I'm gonna put it behind him, right? And I'm gonna kind of scale it, uh, not like that. I'm gonna go down to transform and then I'm gonna rotate it at 180, something like that. Yeah, you know what I mean, 90. <laughs> I'm horrible at math. And then we're just gonna kind of make it fit right behind them, perfect there. I think that's perfect, and we're gonna play that out. Um, Maybe a little bit more lower. Super cool, guys, I love it. And now just to add the final touches to it, guys, I have a couple thunder sounds I'm gonna link you guys as well. So you guys can drag and drop these in the project file. Really cool. And then this one here as well. I'm gonna drag this one out. This one has sounds kind of like further in it. And there you go guys, that's Element 3D text for music videos inside of After Effects. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. A lot of you guys, like I said earlier in the video, that watch these videos are not subscribed. So if you guys wanna see more content like this, music videos, editing packs, stuff like that, make sure you subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment as well. 
Uh, follow me on Instagram at Tiny Tapes if you guys have any more questions and you guys just want to follow along and see what I'm doing. My editing packs are also linked in the description below if you guys want to look for some cool assets to add to your videos. I highly recommend them. They are super high quality. They'll take your videos to the next level. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one.